science fairs are so important for Arlington and for children of all ages because really what they do is they develop a sense of pride in the children. It really sets you up as a person and for care about the environment, care about everything that's going on around you. That is why we love science. Science is just, it's really the basis of everything. What makes plants grow upward? It turns out it's the sun because photosynthesis is making its food. And carbon dioxide and water and the sun cause some sort of chemical reaction that plants eat. Um, the rain, the water, and the air, it helps the sun, it helps the, and the sun, it helps um, the flowers grow, um, and it helps corn grow more, and it helps the tomatoes, and other stuff like that grow. The purpose of my science experiment is to bring light to homes that do not have proper electricity or safe methods to light their homes. A solar light bulb is a water bottle and with bleach. Now the sunlight enters the water and the bleach kills the all the bacteria. As you look through here, it shows light. The sunlight enters in. And they also last 15 years. The air pollution is bad for us and we're making more air pollution, which is bad and that make the world hotter because CO2 traps infrared radiation, which makes our planet hot. I think it's really important. I mean, I'm from here, so I did the school outside US overseas. So you don't get in the practical touch with science. I mean, you read a lot of stuff just written on the paper, but doing it, I think it will be ingrained in his mind. Now, I think if he hears something about air pollution on the radio, he knows what they're talking about. But I mean, I may have heard it when I was a kid, but I had no idea what it was. So I think it's really important to have it. 13 breaths, and we had to multiply it by two, so we got 20. Yeah, how much a minute, and we got 26. And it does conduct electricity. The less trash there is, then like the better. So if 88% of the food's going to waste, then that's really bad. So they should like get compost bins or like get more kid friendly stuff. And so helping our environment is always good because now we're preserving our oceans and making sure none of our things die. Because if ocean acidification continues, then more and more fish will die as a result of, of all the lowering of pH. And, there's, and it goes so by so quickly that, there's no, that no one can really adapt to the changing of the pH. So. so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to raise the pH of water so that ocean acidification can be stopped and so that we can, so that all the animals in the ocean can be saved. I actually collected my samples from Four Mile Run, a local stream. Water in Arlington is um, not the greatest. It could be a lot better, mostly from dog droppings around the neighborhood that people are not cleaning up. So let's shape up on that half of our pet patrol. My project is about purification on bacteria. Um, this means that I use different methods of purification to remove bacteria from water. So I would stick with ultraviolet light because it's the most efficient. It only costs about $30 for a good standard ultra, ultraviolet light wand and it's the most practical one to use. I figured out in my experiment that laundry detergent works best to remove the oil out of the feathers and um, could potentially um, save the birds if the oil is all removed off of the bird. I think it's important for younger people um, in the world today to know about these problems and to find ways to solve them. So for my project, I did the effect of land use on the radioactivity levels in and around Arlington. Once I was done finding the gross rates, I compared them to EPA standards and I found that the levels in Arlington are actually right where they need to be, um, actually lower. Arlington is definitely a great place to live. We need to care for other people. Other people don't have money. Some people are homeless. We need to help them and stand up. People have the right to have what they need. And people need homes, need shelter, need food, need light, and need something to cook their food. So they now have the 
proper electricity or light to light their homes. And I stand proud for Mother Earth and all economies and other people.